what's been your impression of this year's team? Like I said, I know that you're watching. I know that you're keeping your nose to the ground, paying attention and all that stuff. So what's been your impression of this year's team? How far do you think this team can actually go? Yeah, I think with this team, they're, they're still trying to figure it out. They're still a good team, you know what I'm saying? There are days where they're looking like, okay, they're one of the best teams in the country. But, you know, there's days where they're not. And, you know, you got Marcus. I know he just got back a few weeks ago from his injury. And then he had surgery in offseason. So it's tough, too. And, you know, um, I've always said it's hard not to play in Century Link or now Shy Center uh, without the fans. You know, even for me this season, it's tough not playing with fans. So you don't have that extra. It's hard. Fans. Yeah, it's hard. Especially, you know, there's some games you go into, you like, okay, you know, I don't feel like playing. But once that crowd gets you going, you you get that energy. So then you start getting into that mode. But I know it's tough for them not having the fans when you played in front of the fans, you know, since that whole time being there, not having them. But you know, I think the best thing about this team is they have so many weapons. And that's what it takes to win in the tournament. You know, you can't right. you can't have just one guy because you know if that one guy is not playing at his best in the tournament, they end up losing. So I think with having more multiple weapons, it'll help this team out during the stretch in the tournament. Your senior year was Mitch Ballack's freshman year, and also DJ was an uh, incoming transfer, so he had to sit out that year. How crazy is it to see those guys' development where they're at now compared to, like, where they were at then when I'm sure you guys yeah. went at it in practice. I'm sure you taught them a few lessons on the court for sure. But how, how crazy is it to see, like, how good of players they've developed into and now they're the leaders of the team that, you know, you were a leader of when you were a senior? It's crazy, especially, especially like, in Mitch, Mitch Ballack's situation. I've known him since he was in eighth grade. You know, he used to come right. to – Kansas State all the time and play in open gyms with us. So I've known him for a while and I followed, I followed his career all the way through high school because, you know, I thought I knew how good of a, a player he was. And, you know, I remember I got to host Mitch on my, uh, when I was a, when I was a junior, I got to host him for his visit and, you know, just to be around him. I've never been around a guy like that. Like, you know, usually, usually you want to go out or do stuff, hang out with people. He's like, let's go to the gym. I'm like, that's what you right. want to do on your visit? So, yeah. You know, I've always respected him, and he's one of the hardest working play, uh, players I've ever played with. And, you know, to see DJ especially come come out of uh, his shell this season, because, you know, last year he had some injuries and kept battling back and forth. So to see him coming out of shell and being the player that I've always known he could be, it's just amazing to see. DJ's been my favorite player to watch all year. I've repeated about, I don't know, like 50,000 times on this podcast. Uh, his impact on the game, not only obviously scoring, he can do that, but it's the rebounding, it's the leadership, it's the toughness, it's all the 50-50 balls that he's able to get. What has impressed you the most about him, like, personally, and and just seeing, like, obviously the things that he can do, not only affecting the game by scoring, but in multiple different ways? Uh, really just, like, being there through his process uh, when he first got there and seeing the player he was, you know, being honest, DJ wasn't as nowhere near the level he is now. So to see him come in from day one and adapt to the system and learn and then go through some adversity that he learned, I just like the fact that, you know, he got that dog in him and he, he doesn't let anything hold him back. And he, you know, he comes prepared every day and you know at least he's going to give you something. If he's not scoring, he's going to do some other defense if he If he's not, uh, he's not knocking down shots, he's going to try to rebound. So, that's what I love about him and just being there for the process and seeing how where he is now, you know, it makes me happy to see.